Everybody has gallstones, but nobody knows. Gallstones severely disrupt the performance of the liver, which has over 500 functions, which is why doing a flush is one of the most important things you could ever do for your health. Cleaning your liver can add years to your life, reverse or slow down the aging process, and heal your body on a deeper level than you ever thought possible. Many people who have done a series of these flushes see remarkable changes in all areas of their health, some even being healed of stubborn illnesses that they lived with for years. Here are the supplies you will need. Apple juice, six one liter, 32 ounce containers. Epsom salts, four tablespoons. Extra virgin olive oil, cold pressed, four ounces, 120 milliliters. Fresh grapefruits or lemons, 6 ounces, 180 milliliters. Preparation The liver gallbladder flush requires 6 days of preparation, during which your daily routine can remain the same for the most part, with the exception of drinking the apple juice. For 6 days, drink 1 liter of apple juice. You may drink more than that if you want to. The malic acid that is naturally present in apples softens the gallstones and makes them easier to pass. Apple juice has a strong cleansing effect, so drink it slowly throughout the day rather than all at once. Feel free to eat as many apples as you like during the cleanse too. The better you prepare, the more efficient the flush will be, and you will produce better results. It's best to avoid fat as best as possible during the preparation for this cleanse as this will build up more pressure in the liver. On day six, this is the day of the actual flush. Remember that what you eat today is very important. Eat a light breakfast and lunch that is free from fat and protein. Here are some ideas. Fruits. Salad with no dressing or oil-free dressing. Quinoa, millet, rice, and steamed veggies. And oatmeal. You'll want to eat lunch no later than 1.30 p.m. This is vital to ensure that you do not get sick later on. At 6 p.m., add four tablespoons of Epsom salts to three eight ounce glasses of filtered water in a jar. This makes four servings, three quarter jar each. Drink your first portion now. One of the main actions of Epsom salt is to dilate, widen the bile ducts, making it easy for the stones to pass. Moreover, it clears out waste that may obstruct the release of the stones. At 8 p.m., drink your second serving, three-quarter jar of Epsom salt water. 9.45 p.m., thoroughly wash the grapefruits or lemons. Squeeze them by hand and remove the pulp. You will need a three-quarter glass of juice. Pour the juice and half glass of olive oil into the pint jar. Close the jar tightly and shake hard, about 20 times, or until the solution is watery. Ideally, you should drink this mixture at 10 p.m., but if you feel you still need to visit the bathroom a few more times, you may delay this step for up to 10 minutes. 10 p.m. After drinking the grapefruit and olive oil mixture, lie down immediately. This is essential for helping to release the gallstones. Turn off the lights and lie flat on your back with two pillows propping you up. Your head should be higher than the abdomen. Lie perfectly still for at least 20 minutes and try not to speak. Send healing energy to your liver with your hands and your imagination. If at any time during the night you feel the urge to have a bowel movement, do so. The following morning, upon waking, but not before 6 a.m., drink your third three-quarter glass of Epsom salts. At 8, 8.30 a.m., drink your fourth and last three-quarter glass of Epsom salts. At 10.30 a.m., you may drink freshly pressed fruit juice at this time. One half hour later, you may eat one or two pieces of fresh fruit. One hour later, you may eat regular but light food. By the evening or the next morning, you should be back to normal and feel the first signs of improvement. What can you expect during the flush? The results you can expect during the morning and perhaps afternoon hours after the cleanse, you will have a number of watery bowel movements. These initially consist of gallstones mixed with food residue, and then just stones mixed with water. Cleaning your liver completely may require at least six cleanses, which can be performed at monthly intervals.